Arnold Schwarzenegger, a man that needs no introduction. He's one of the most famous and influential people on the planet today. Now, despite him drinking alcohol and smoking cigars, there's still a lot that we can learn from him. At the end of the day, Arnold Schwarzenegger has got an extremely strong mindset. Now, sure, he's not applied that mindset to alcohol or smoking, but he's applied it to his life and look at the results. Pretty much unmatched. So we can still take what we need from Arnold and ignore the fact that he drinks and smokes, and apply it to drinking. And this video is going to blow you away. Honestly, I have found such an amazing speech that I actually listened to 10 years ago, and it is so relevant to our journeys of not drinking alcohol. Cannot wait to share this with you today. And just before we get into the video, if you click the link down below, you can actually get access to a free video training that shows you how to control your drinking. All you do is click the link, put your name and email address in, and then the video will start playing. It's the most in-depth video I have ever made on how to get immediate and fast control of your drinking. So if you want to get access to that, please do click the link down below. Cannot wait to share that one with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the speech, and then we're going to discuss different points along the way. There are six things that we'll discuss in total. And the sixth one is going to be the hardest thing to apply, but arguably it's the most important. So do make sure to stay tuned to then. Of course, people ask me all the time. They say to me, what is the secret to success? The first rule is trust yourself. But what is most important is that you have to dig deep down, dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who? And I'm talking about not what your parents and teachers want you to be, but you. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. So rule number one is, of course, trust yourself no matter how or what anyone else thinks. So rule number one is to trust yourself. Now, I actually listened to this when I was maybe 20 years of age, 21 years of age, something like that. And I was in a place where I was very lost in my life. I was working in a restaurant as a chef, like I was actually cooking. I actually have a qualification in cooking, but I didn't know what I was doing. I had no goals. I had no direction, no vision. And I really felt very lost. And I actually remember uh, listening to this exact speech. And when it said that, for one of the first times in my life, it said, who do you want to be? Not what, but who? And at the time I was, I know this isn't related to stopping drinking, but it will be just wait. But I was very skinny. You know, I was smoking cigarettes. I was drinking alcohol. I was taking drugs. It was all, it was just a total mess. And when he said that in this speech, I remember getting goosebumps. I was like, huh, who do I want to be? Who? And it was all of a sudden I thought, you can be anybody you want. And I don't know, it sounds like such a almost basic thing. But at that time in my life, it was almost like somebody was giving me permission to change, to be somebody different. And it was around this time that I was actually just starting to exercise in the gym. So I was very skinny when I was growing up. And when he said, who do I want to be? I was like, well, I want to be strong. I want to be bigger. I want to be, you know, fit. I don't want to be somebody that smokes and drinks and does drugs and all this crazy stuff. Now, obviously... The alcohol side of things, it took a long time to get to where I am today, despite hearing this speech, but it's an amazing thing that he says, like, who do you want to be? And when you ask yourself that, what answer do you get? Do you really want to be a drinker? Is that what legacy you want to leave behind when they remember you, when, you know, it's your time to go? Is that who you want to be? I know I didn't. And if you're trying to not drink, if you're going along that path, you've got to trust yourself. You've got to have that belief that you can do this and you can change. And the final thing that he says is to trust yourself no matter what anybody else thinks. At the end of the day, when we're not drinking alcohol, we are going against the status quo. Some people might question your decision to not drink. Some people might give you a bit of a hard time. Some people are going to say, why would you not want to drink? But so what? Do this for yourself. And of course, rule number two is break the rules. We have so many rules in life about everything. I say break the rules, not the law, but break the rules. It is impossible to be a maverick or a true original if you're too well behaved and not want to break the rules. You have to think outside the box. That's what I believe after all. What is the point of being on this earth if all you want to do is be liked by everyone and avoid trouble? The only way that I ever got any place was by breaking some of the rules. Now, I'm not sure that breaking the rules is necessarily 100% related to 
not drinking alcohol, but he makes a point there. It's impossible to do anything original if all you want to do is be liked by other people. I don't know about you, but when I drank alcohol, I wanted to fit in. I didn't want to be the odd one out. I didn't want to be the only person not drinking. I really cared what other people thought of me. And I promise you one thing, if you want an easy time not drinking alcohol, you need to stop caring. And what you really need to do is you need to see other people for what they are. If they're drinking alcohol, they're taking a drug and it's most likely that they have a drug addiction. And when people start pointing the finger and start encouraging you to drink, it's got nothing to do with you not drinking. It's got everything to do with that individual's relationship with alcohol. And the, just on a personal note, like when I heard this part of this speech, I remember it was when I was just getting into the gym and starting to train. And I'm going to tell you a bit of an embarrassing story, but when I was, uh, I don't know, 17, I think I was 17, I, I, uh, I learned about bodybuilding and I found transformation pictures. And I didn't even know it was a thing in my area. People didn't do that. But I remember finding it and I remember I made this, this is, this is it's a little bit embarrassing, but I remember I made this profile uh, on bodybuilding.com and this is like borderline bullying, right? But anyway, it is what it is. And a bunch of guys at school had found this profile and they printed it off and stuck it in a flipping, uh, uh, like a, the sixth, like the college billboard, right? Because I said there, like, they said, like, why have you got into bodybuilding? Well, it's because I, I want more confidence. I want this, I want that. You know, you had to build this profile and some plonker had found it. And I'm not going to lie, that got to me. I was embarrassed. I was thinking, because I was skinny, right? And, and I had like, I don't know, it was 20 kgs lighter than I am now. And then I remember actually listening to this speech, and I know it's not related to stopping drinking, but I had to share it. But when he said that, about not caring what other people think, it was like, I'm going to, it, it lit a fire in me where I was like, I'm going to show you all. You, I know you did that to me, but just you wait. I am going to change my body. I'm going to change my physique. I'm going to change my life. That's just on a, that's just, that was all just on a side note. I mean, hey, listen, teenagers are going to do this kind of stupid stuff to each other, right? But when I heard that, it lit a fire. The same way that it will hopefully light a fire in you when it comes to not drinking alcohol. Which of course brings me to rule number three. Don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail. You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. You can't be paralyzed by fear or failure, or you will never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it's the right thing to do and success will come. So don't be afraid to fail. Now to me, this third rule is probably the most important in this video today. Don't be afraid to fail. At the end of the day, if you've been watching my channel for a while, if you've been trying to stop drinking alcohol for many years, you've had hundreds of failed attempts, the difference between an individual that is currently not drinking and you right now, if you are drinking, is that that individual tried it one more time. Despite failing, a hundred times in the past, they gave it one more shot. That's why I'm in the position that I'm in today. It's because I gave it one more go. You can't be afraid to fail. You've got to give it one more go. Because one day, you know, you will figure this out. You will get to that place where you don't want to drink. But you've got to keep trying. You can't be afraid of failing. Which brings me to rule number four, which is don't listen to the naysayers. I mean, how many times have you heard that you can't do this, and you can't do that, and it has never been done before? As a matter of fact, I love it when someone says, that never, no one has ever done this before because then when I do it, that means that I'm the first one that has done it. So pay no attention to the people that say it can't be done. I always listen to myself and said, yes, you can. Oh my word. This one is absolutely massive. Ignoring the naysayers. I actually remember when I stopped drinking this time around, I told somebody that I worked with in a restaurant and he just looked at me like, oh, here we go again. And you all know what I did after that? I didn't tell a single person because I wasn't willing to listen to people who were going to start poking their finger and going, yeah, really? Are you seriously doing this? I totally ignored those people and I didn't even tell them what I was doing. You know, you might have people that do the same thing to you. When you tell them you're not going to drink alcohol anymore, they might just start thinking, uh, you know, really? For real? Yeah, you sure? Ignore these people. Real friends are going to be in your corner. They're going to support you. And those people that you've got in your life that are not supportive of that decision. Again, like I said before, that's got nothing to do with you not drinking alcohol and everything to do with their relationship with drinking. Ignore those people. They will not add anything to your life because I am 100% sure that you can do this. I have seen people, I've worked with people that have drank a bottle of vodka every single day for 20 years. I've seen them go six months sober, 12 months sober, 18 months sober. If they can do it, why can't you? Well, you can. So ignore the naysayers. That brings me to rule number five, which is the most important rule of, world, of all. 
work your butt off. Now, if I always believe leaving no stone unturned, Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count my sit-ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. That's the way it is with everything. No pain, no gain. And let me tell you, it is important to have fun in life, of course. But when you're out there partying, horsing around, someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember that. But if you want to win, there's absolutely no way around hard, hard work. None of my rules, by the way, of success will work unless you do. I've always figured out that there's 24 hours a day. You sleep six hours. They have 18 hours left. Now, I know there's some of you out there now and says, well, wait a minute, I sleep eight hours or nine hours, but then just sleep faster, I would recommend. Just remember, you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in the pocket. I actually remember listening to this again when, you know, 10 years ago, whenever it was that I listened to this, when he spoke about hard work and I was like, oh, that's what I got to do. I got to work harder, train harder, eat more and work my butt off. But anyway, back to stopping drinking. When we stop drinking alcohol, the worst way to do things is to stop drinking and make no changes. It's to go back to your life and change nothing. That is a recipe for disaster. And it's why I always say that when we stop drinking alcohol, we must build a better life. And this is where working your butt off comes into play. If you stop drinking and you sit around watching Netflix, you don't make an effort with your spouse, you don't go back to the gym, you don't make an effort in your career. It's like, what's the point? You know, if, you, if you're not going to change your life, what is the point for real? But if you say, do you know what? I want more for my life. I want to be healthier. I want to set a better example to people. I want to have a better relationship with my family. I want to build something awesome. If you start putting energy into these things and work your butt off, then what happens is in six months time, when you look back at all the amazing things that you've created, all the amazing things that you've done, the idea of adding alcohol back into your life, you start to see that it's a ridiculous idea because not only are you going to go back to what it was like before, but you lose all the amazing things that you've built over the past 6, 12, 18 months, 2 years. So this rule is extremely important. And that takes me to rule number 6, which is a very important rule, it's about giving back. Whatever path that you take in your lives, you must always find time to give something back. Something back to your community, give something back to your state or to your country. Let me tell you something, reaching out and helping people will bring you more satisfaction than anything else you've ever done. Remember those six rules. Trust yourself, break some rules, don't be afraid to fail. More than they say is, work like hell and give something back. And finally, giving back. Now, I'm not saying you need to start your own YouTube channel, right? Or do what I've done. But just by getting on this path, just by being on this journey, you are giving back. Do you know how? You're setting an example to people around you. You're stepping up as a leader and you're really forging a path for other people to follow. And to me, that is a beautiful gift that you give to so many people in your life. Stopping drinking is an amazing way to give more value to other people. And if you click the video on the screen now, you can learn what Tupac taught me about not drinking alcohol.